Face It has recently caught everyone's attention with the tweet they released on April 18th, which is probably the most interesting thing to happen from that platform since I actually don't know. But shit has spiraled since then with no update, and the goofiest thing is they might have even leaked the update by mistake. More on that after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7, you can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. Now the first tweet showcased a picture of a smurf with the caption, just say no to smurfs. Since face it is used by many people, this tweet obviously generated a lot of hype within the community, even more than finding a decent teammate. However, the update they hinted at never came as promised, and on April 21st they tweeted, turns out smurfs had Kevlar plus helmets and they needed more time. What they did here was almost beautiful. They delivered the classic Valve time meme, basically failing to deliver on time in exceptional fashion. However, it appears appears that Faceit might have accidentally revealed their big plans over on their corporate privacy policy page. Or maybe they're just really bad at keeping secrets. A new section titled, To Verify Your Faceit Account Has Appeared. And I know this is new, because you can use the Wayback Machine and see that it wasn't there on March 15th. Now this is truly an oversight from Faceit, and it's a pretty goofy way to discover what they had planned. But not only that, the plans are, well, sort of controversial. This section talks about the option for users to verify accounts by authenticating yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. To do that, you would have to send your personal ID and a photo of yourself unless you're a pro player or a known streamer. Okay. So basically, it seems that Faceit's grand master plan to combat smurfs is to rely on a KYC. I don't know. I just... I don't think a lot of people would feel too good about sharing their personal stuff just to play Counter-Strike. Face It's anti-cheat is probably right now looking through our pictures and they want more. I think most of us would agree that if they could tackle the smurf issue without having to collect our ugly faces, it would be so much better for everyone. And wait, would they separate regular users from verified users? And would verify users only play against other verified users? Because if that's how they planned it, it's a terrible idea. Biggest issue with this one that literally everyone can see is the longer queue times. It also creates other issues like how separating this will cause less balanced matches because of larger skill gaps. And what about the people who are not smurfing but are not comfortable sharing their personal stuff? What are they going to do? They would experience more smurfs because people are moving to a verified queue. I mean, even if they don't separate the queues, and just make it so you're more likely to not play against smurfs if you're verified. It's just very intrusive and it obviously raises some privacy concerns. But if it separates the player base, then that is a pretty big issue in itself. Also just to note, the ID verification information is handled and stored by a third party service provider called Day and Limited. They work with major brands and have experience in handling sensitive data. And if you want to verify, it's completely optional, of course. I don't know, you can let me know what you guys think about this. When I play counter strike and I really want that competitive environment, I go to face it. And yes, we often experience smurfs. It would have been way cooler to see something like an AI based detection of smurfs. Like how hard is it to just rely on AI to do what any human can do in less than five seconds of entering a lobby. And the timing is a bit weird as well. Like we don't even know what Valve are cooking up for CS2. Maybe they're working on some kind of smurf detection system. We already know there's talks about an improved anti-cheat. The name that we've been able to dig up through data mining is Vac Live, which pretty much sounds like Vac's older brother. I guess we'll just have to wait for the official announcement. Peace.